champions here at the 61st Mobile One, 12 hours of Sebring, fueled by Fresh from Florida. Uh, the co-drivers of the number one Audi Sport Team Yost, Audi R18 e-tron Quattro, Benoit Trellue, Marcel Fessler, and Olivier, or Oliver Jarvis, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is the first uh, first Sebring win for all for all three drivers here. Uh, first win for a hybrid powered car in ALMS competition. Uh, this is uh, 11 wins since 2000 for Audi, so an amazing record here. Um, Oliver, let's uh, let's start with you. Uh, we just had uh, a few minutes ago. We had Dan Valmolka in here. You and he uh, obviously. Uh, are, off, are both off to a pretty good start this year with victories in the Rolex 24 and now here tonight to talk about your feelings. Yeah, I think I'm going to invite him to all my races. Um, it's been a fantastic start to the year for me. I couldn't have even dreamed for this. Uh, to win Daytona was unexpected, but to come here and uh, win again, it's just been a dream come true. Uh, I want to say a huge thanks to my two teammates. They're used to driving with Andre Lotter. Uh, I've replaced him for this race. And uh, they've welcomed me, they've helped me, and uh, it's been a real privilege to drive with them. So a uh, huge thanks to them. And, um, you know, also to the guys, they work ever so hard. You know, they were there till late last night, working hard, up early again this morning, and they've just done a great job, produced a great car. So, uh, you know, for me, a fantastic week and a fantastic couple of months. Congratulations. Benoit, let's, uh, let's get your, your comments. Obviously, you, uh, you, uh, you brought the thing home tonight. Talk about... Uh, what you had to do to, to keep it ahead of your uh, your teammate? Yeah, it was a pretty hard race. Uh, we all pushed really hard through uh, through the race, and uh, for sure at the end, it was pretty close with the traffic sometimes. It's difficult to see in the mirror. I know that uh, Tom was not happy about one thing, uh, but I didn't even see him, but whatever. Uh, we were talking together, and that's racing. Um, we always do our best to, to keep uh, our car on the track and uh, fight cleanly together and it was uh, I think a nice show for for everyone here and uh, we are pretty happy here to be to be on the top of the podium and as Oliver say we, I think Marcel did a really great job and uh, on the pole position uh, Oliver did a great job there through uh, the night you know he, he pulled away and I just have to keep the gap and uh, was a uh, tough because uh, uh, Tom was doing very well with the out laps and could warm the tire quicker than me. After that, I, uh, I could do it pretty well and then bring the car to the end. Well done. Let's uh, let's get uh, Marcel's comments. Uh, obviously, you, you started from the pole position uh, and uh, or you, you qualified on the pole position yesterday. Talk about uh, maybe what that did to help you and. Uh, and talk a little bit also about the, uh, the there was obviously a, quite a shower of sparks under the car at different times. What, what was that about? Were there any concerns there? Yeah, for sure the pole position was a great thing yesterday, but uh, it was just one lap. So uh, today it was 12 hours to go. It's much more difficult, I, I would say. But still I was really happy to do the qualifying and being on pole. And then, uh, yeah, the race was always quite tough and uh, quite... Uh, if we have seen with the other car, we always were uh, we had a, a big battle between us, and we had actually not really big problems. We had just a little bit of loose on the floor at the, at some times, and this we could see at night these little sparks, but uh, it, it was not a big damage, so I think it should be not a problem. And yeah, I'm really happy that we achieved this victory because uh, now it was. For a moment, the last time Audi came here to Sebring, and uh, being uh, uh, or leave Sebring uh, as a winner, I think this is a great feeling. And thanks for the Audi, for the whole team, for the mechanics who did a great job, and my teammates as well. It's a really happy day, a happy weekend for me. Great job. Let's go ahead and take questions for P1. Oliver, um, with the history of Audi here at Sebring. Having all the previous wins, your first time on the squad here, how does it make you feel being on this team, going away from Sebring? Firstly, just to be asked to drive here was a privilege, um, but to come here and then win on my, my first appearance with these guys, um, it's something I'll never forget. Like I say, it's a privilege. It really is. Um, I came here last year to watch the race. I knew immediately I wanted to do it. And when I heard Audi was running two cars, I must admit I, I thought I wouldn't be here. And when I got the call, I, 
I put the phone down and started jumping. You know, this is a special place. I'm delighted to be part of the last race with the LMP1 car. But um, I hope for me it's, it's just the beginning. You know, I've had two races in America, two wins, and I'd love to be back on a, a more regular basis. And let's hope Audi find a way to, to come back in the future. I saw Andre in the paddock or in the pits earlier. Is it, was he injured and why was he racing today? The, Audi took a decision that, um, to try and split the driving time. And uh, Andre very kindly moved aside for me this weekend. And I have to say his two teammates welcomed me with open arms and have been a huge help. Hopefully I can take that through the rest of the season as well. But um, no, you know, it was a team decision and Andre being a team player, he, he took it on the chin. Of course, he'd love to be here. He loves Sebring and he loves driving with these guys. So huge thanks to him, but also to Audi for making the decision and allowing me to come here. Go ahead, John. For any of you, um, it seemed like that there was some attempts to repair the floor at, at some part of, during the race. Can you explain if that improved things at all from a driving standpoint? And, and I'll start and then, um, yeah, I think we hit some debris and damaged the floor. So, um, you know, that caused some issues, but uh, the guys did a great job. I think we were just unlucky to hit a, a little bit of loose debris and it, it caused some damage. So one of those things, but uh, it didn't affect the car too much, and the mechanics did the, the best they could. Anything to add, guys? I think the lap time, uh, as we have seen, it was quite good, so it doesn't affect the balance that much. Uh, yeah, I think it was, um, like, as always, you know, track change sometimes, then you get a little bit more understeer or oversteer, but then you can uh, change it with the tire pressure. So actually we had not big balance change because of this little problem. Additional questions for our P1 winners. Go ahead. Marcel, you were here a few years ago with Corvette. How does it feel like back then? Did you ever think that you'd have, in years to come, a couple of Le Mans wins, be on the pole and win the final kind of P1 race here at Super? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was uh, just a three or four years ago I was here with Corvette the first time. Actually, I run here at Sebring, and uh, I knew how tough is it to, uh, to race here, especially with the GT, because you have all these LMPs around which overtake you, so you have not just to look forward, you have to also to look uh, rearwards. It is ma sometimes much more difficult than being in the fast one of the fastest car, because you just go through the traffic and never look really back backwards. This was really uh, helpful. Uh, and so I know a little bit uh, for the GT guys, how, how is it when you are in a GT car. And yeah, at, uh, f four years ago, we, I, I think we finished second. We, had, uh, we were also fighting hard for a victory, but we didn't achieve it. And uh, now in my third time I'm race here, uh, we won it. So it's, uh, it's really cool and really great because Sebring is something really well known also in Europe. It's a big race. and. Being one of the big races is always good for a driver. Any final questions for our P1 winners? Okay. Uh, I have a question for Antonio. Uh, at the end of the race, you were fighting every time with Christensen, and in, there was a time you, all, you almost passed it, but you were going to push. How was the fight? Yeah, it's, uh, it's always difficult when it's your sister car, and uh, I've seen that he took a risk to go outside trying to overtake the the Porsche for, for uh, through the outside, which is nearly impossible, but uh, he tried it and uh, he could have worked and uh, could have passed me, but uh, it, it didn't work finally. And then after I could pull away, I didn't want to take too much risk in the traffic. He was pushing hard what you have to do if you want to win because he knew that uh, his uh, pit stop would have been longer and uh, I had the march of uh, six seconds of, of the last pit stop. So. Uh, for me, it was not a big deal, you know, it's just I saw that he came on the side, but the Porsche was in front of him and I had the freeway in front of me, so I just passed the Porsche and I couldn't do something else, you know. Okay, gentlemen, congratulations. Thanks for joining us.